Hi, I'm going to try and put together a black light cannon or black light spotlight. Uh, this uses E27 socket, a 1 to 4 socket adapter was $8 on change on eBay, uh, 4 compact fluorescent black light bulbs that came from uh, Lowe's, I think they were $2.98 on sale. Uh, don't use the incandescent ones, the ones with a little filament inside, they don't actually put out enough black light to do anything. You need a fluorescent uh, device for this. Um, spray adhesive, uh, aluminized tape, this, uh, and your favorite utility tape. Some metalized or silver mylar, this is for making uh, indoor growth areas, reflectors for indoor plants, um, gardens, whatever you want to call it. I was going to use it for two-way, but it's got too much aluminum on it, so it reflects too much. But it works great for this as a mirror. Uh, this is probably the only tricky piece. This is a cop glass number 41. It is a filter. I've seen them on eBay for pretty reasonable prices. Um, you can your favorite industrial and scientific supply can probably get you uh, a lead onto to one. This is a trick because it only passes ultraviolet light. Uh, we can't see ultraviolet light. Uh, if you hold this up to a mirror, tri trivia for the day, if you hold it up to a light source, you might see a kind of a dull red. That's a multiplying, uh, a, a multiple wavelength. So anyway, uh, basically it looks like Black glass, you can't see through it, but let's black light through. Bucket from Lowe's, to which we've drilled a hole in the end that will allow this to mount up. Use the socket to hold it in place. I've cut a disc of mylar in here. Uh, the, the silverized mylar, and then I wrapped a piece of it around it, a little spray adhesive to retain it, and uh, put some tape, or I'm putting it in the process of putting the tape on there, and I decided I probably should uh, make a quick video of the, how to do this. I'll do another video that shows how to, what, what I'm going to do with it, but at the moment, I want to show you how to get put one together. Put some tape on the top, a little cut so it makes it easy to fold the stuff over. Go ahead and do that all around. The glass just fits over the end of this. I'm going to use the aluminum tape, and I'll bore you with watching me do it, to retain this all the way around the edge. If this gets too warm, if I'm going to be using it for a long period of time, I'll go ahead and put a fan back here with some holes drilled through it and, and be able to pull some air. But for initial testing and things, I'm, I'm just going to let it run in short uh, duration. Uh, that's pretty much all the materials that went into this. Okay, this is uh, I'm testing it out a little bit here. Um, learning a few things. What uh, doing in daylight? Um, we're going to play with a few products. These are uh, some UV reactive inks that can be uh, applied to the skin. They look. I did a test before on them. They look uh, pretty much invisible. I can post some pictures of it, but pretty much invisible, normal light, and uh, fluoresce in color when they're uh, in the UV. Um, these are uh, normal um, body art makeup at uh, black light reactive. This is a black light reactive hairspray, and this is another uh, makeup from Endura that is both black light reactive and uh, once activated it will glow in the dark. So we'll play with those for, for just a minute and we'll turn off the, the light and then we'll, uh, I'll turn the backlight on.
easier to do when it's laid out. Okay. All right, so the blacklight cannon's on. Um, the, the light seeing on the rim will go away when the rest of the aluminum tape is there uh, covering that. Um, in front of it, you're looking at a very light gray wall, uh, wall and, and uh, you see almost no purple. The purple is a result of, uh, you don't want the purple, you want the black light, but your eyes can't see the black light. So let's see how this stuff reacts. This is the normal uh, wolf face and art neon colors, black light reactive. Um, this is the hairspray, and I sprayed it on my hand, backside. And these are the inks. Uh, and this is the glow under black light. And uh, interestingly enough, not only does it uh, fluoresce nicely under black light, but if you remove the black light and pass out from underneath it, it still glows for a bit. Pretty cool. The idea behind these uh, will be in another video, but essentially I want to create a character who looks perfectly normal in uh, regular daylight until they happen to pass in front of the cannon when they're in close with the guests and Suddenly, they reveal their true nature. Thanks for watching.